Yo, 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 welcome back. Today we're going to be putting on the DRW Performance case saver and a chain slide. This is the version 3. It uses the three mounting holes on your case instead of the two stock ones for your case saver. But you can drill it out and use the stock ones, but it's a little bit harder to get it on and off. I am going to do that, but not right now because the place I get my bolts from didn't have ones that match the ones that came with the kit. Here's our chain glide. I mean, it speaks for itself. Anybody knows what the stock ones look like? It's like paper thin compared to this. So we'll see how it holds up over top. And you also get mounting hardware for the case saver and a bolt for the chain glide. All right, now let's get this on. Before that, get yourself. 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, a 5 millimeter Allen, and a short stubby 5 millimeter to make things a little bit easier. And always have a persuader with you just in case you never know. You might have to get something lined up. So, this is the stock chain glide. And if you notice right here, if you get their case saver, you have to cut a little bit of this off. So the case saver will fit. So that's why I got the chain glide at the same time. So just do it all at once. But if you can't get both of them at the same time for whatever reason, definitely go with the case saver first and not the chain glide. Because bad things happen when chains break. Get yourself a 10 mil. Get to work. I already did a dry fit of everything and I had to grind a little bit off right here because I lifted my shifter up a little bit more for my boots. So I just had to grind a little bit right there. Other than that, everything's good so far. So let's do this real for this time. 10 mil. Five mil, Allen. Three eight millimeter bolts. While you're in there, might as well clean it out. a little thread locker on it because everything around here on this quad comes loose fast for some strange reason. I bought a brand new and I don't know probably about 30 plus bolts were loose on it. I mean they were tight but they were nowhere near spec I can tell you that. I don't know, it's like that hold on doesn't want to match up. I tried it the other day and I was having problems with it too. Let's 
put the case saver on, see if, uh, I don't know, that'll change something. Yes, she is tight. A little tricky to get that one in, you gotta push it down a little bit. Put a little bit of medium thread lock on these guys just in case you know you don't want them backing out. Just a little bit, not too much because you might have to get in there to change your sprockets or some shit. I mean, this might not even be necessary, but my OCD kicks in and I don't know, it just makes me feel safer knowing that I put a little thread locker on it. Sleep better at night now. Don't tighten these all down. Just snug them up. Square up the case saver. Make sure we have no other issues. Uh, there wasn't no issues other than I lifted up my shift pedal a little bit because my riding boots are thicker toes thicker so I lifted up just a little bit and it was hitting there and the shifter was hitting right there so I just made it so I don't have to ever worry about that again either I believe these bolts are somewhere around like seven eight foot pounds but double check in your book because I'm not sure I've done this so many times I just I got the touch and do not use power tools you will strip your shit out say this case saver does look intimidating it does give a little bit of like not a wow factor but more of like a what the hell is that factor and that's why you just tell them yeah get this case saver you'd be good to go you never have to worry about it again This is the version 3 for the 12 to 15 tooth sprocket. 
still can use these two mounting holes, but I don't know. That son of a bitch is on there. We'll see. There's the finished product. I mean, you see, I'm going to grind out just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, man, she's beautiful. I mean, it fits tight against the case. Pretty sure you don't even have to bolt it down and you'd be good to go. I mean, it's tight in there. It's tighter than my boss on payday. It's beautiful though. I wasn't too crazy about these Allen heads at first, but I don't know. They kind of give a little intimidating factor look to it or something. I don't know. They just make it look more badass. So that means I'm going to have to change out all my bolts now. Because I can't have those bolts different than the rest of them on the motor because it's going to drive me crazy. Plus, if I get them all in 5mm Allens, I only need to carry a 5mm Allen with me and not a bunch of tools. So what I did, I took the Dremel and I gave it a little bevel. And now, it should slide over stuff easier instead of catching it. I don't think it did anything to the integrity of it. Because I didn't take that much off, I just changed the profile, the shape of it. Now it's nice and smooth, like the finger just slips out easier than if I went this way. You can even hear the sound difference. So there you go. Get a DRW skid plate or any skid plate. Do that to help you out a little bit. But definitely get a DRW one. I think it's badass. So there's our case saver. And the chain slider. <laughs>